There's an old, old song that says the old man is dead. Praise God. That's so good. And the Bible says that we're new creatures in Christ Jesus. Behold, all things have passed away, and all things are become new. A new species that's never been before, that's never lived before. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Just like Jesus Christ. He was the firstborn of many brethren. He was raised from the dead. God raised him from the dead. Raised in newness of life. And now, the Bible says when he was raised, guess what? We were raised with him. Amen. So we're a brand new species. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. He's a wonderful Savior. And he's surely worth serving. While Brother Herb comes, or Brother, I invite my husband to come. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brother Ken, y'all get ready to get your Bibles out and get your notebooks. I'd like to introduce you to Brother Ken Gross. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. We're not going to say much tonight, I don't think, but Brother Herb's going to be preaching. And uh, But we just wanted to say, God bless, and what a privilege it is for us to come and be here. Hallelujah. What what you said, honey, at the beginning, these people all, all over certain parts of the world that, you know, they can't worship freely. So what a privilege that we have to come to the house of the Lord and have have the freedom to to minister the Word of God and just be a tool in God's hands if we will be. Amen. That's just such a blessing. We're we're so glad. So and uh, so God bless those of you that are viewing and those of you by radio. We're so glad to have you in whenever you may be here in this program. We're just so glad to have you. Amen. I want you to know the Lord loves you. He will change your life. He will if you let him. If it needs change, he'll change it for you. There's no doubt about it, are they heard? And God's a healer. Oh, what a healer he is. What a healing Jesus. Praise the Lord. He certainly is. And God is such a good God, far more than some of us know. And he's just, he's fixed it, ain't he? <laughs> he's fixed it. And he's, he's given us everything that we need. Glory to God. Mm, let's just step on up. Let's step on up and believe God. Believe him. This morning I was thinking, you know, and again, I'm just a minute and I'm done. In Isaiah, God said, or Isaiah said that, well, he was God. He said, for your thoughts are not my thoughts. And neither are your ways my ways. And he put, saith the Lord. <laughs> We've heard many times through the years that people think this way. They still think this way in spite of some good teaching and preaching. That you can't know what God's thoughts are. But Brenda's mentioning something. That is the great exchange. Our thoughts for God's thoughts. Glory to God. God just giving us his thoughts. And see, what you have to understand about it is, uh, and it's just right there, clear as can be in the word. He, he wasn't talking to, he was talking to the wicked people. Wicked. Their, their thoughts wasn't God's thoughts. They never had a God thought. <laughs> Amen. They may never had a God thought. 
but we can sure have his. Glory to God. Why? Because he give us his word. Oh, he's given us all kinds of. Uh, in these last days, he hath spoken unto us by his son. Well, he said a whole lot, didn't he? One thing right after the other. Many, many things. Hundreds, thousands of things the Lord Jesus said to us. Amen. And then not only that, here come all the apostles filled with the Holy Ghost and give us stuff and give us revelations and give us word. Woo, we got all kinds of God stuff going on, ain't we? Glory to God. That's what I want those. I've got some of them. I want more of them. I can have them. And then God says in uh, Deuteronomy uh, 29 and 29, I believe it is. The secret things. So you hear people talk this way all the time. They go, boy, it's a he's a he works in mysterious ways now. His ways are past finding out. Don't give us the, those kind of impressions. <laughs> 